This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for February 15th. After making the cut of 10 finalists for the Bob Cousy Award, Norris Cole won Horizon League Player of the Week after his performance Saturday against Youngstown State. Can't make that one work. And Cole, one of the best rebounding guards in the country. Off to the races. He's a one-stop shot. I'll grab it. I'll take it. And I'll score it. Cole for three. Big shot. It's the answer you expect from your senior leader. Down. And Bob, you can tell it's clear that Youngstown State has said we cannot get in a half-court game with Cleveland State as Cole <laughs> sticks the three. Ward with six. Cole will answer. How about the answer? <laughs> so again, take a little time. You know, you get in the shot clock, find number 30, and let him make a decision. And oh, like 36. Yep. His career high is 38. This has got to go up quickly. Shot clock is dwindling down. Guess who is open? And he missed it, but he got the tip back, rebound, and score. Ty is career high with 38 for Norris Cole. The primary reason for the standing O and the applause go to Norris Cole. 41 points for Norris Cole, 19 rebounds, and 9 assists. And simply put, this young man has had one of the best games in this program's history. The Vikings outscored the Penguins 52-40 in the second half in an 86-76 win to improve their record to 22-5 and 11-4 in the Horizon League. Cole became the first player since Blake Griffin of Oklahoma in 2009 to score at least 40 points and gather 20 rebounds in a game. The Vikes have two big road games this week at Wright State Wednesday evening and then at Old Dominion on Sunday on ESPN2 for Bracket Busters. The women's team swept a key homestand last week with a 57-51 win over Valparaiso and a 69-64 win over Butler. Shalonda Winton was named Horizon League Player of the Week and scored 18 points while grabbing 11 rebounds against Valpo. Destiny Blue chipped in a double-double against the Crusaders with 13 points and 11 rebounds. CSU followed up the Valpo win with the WBCA Pink Zone game in which the Vikes suited up in pink against the Bulldogs. Winton played well with 20 points, while Blue added another 13-point, 11-rebound performance en route to the win. Cleveland State held Butler to 31% shooting while shooting 51% for the game. Shanita Garland moved into seventh place on the career scoring list with 1,239 career points. The Vikings are now 14-10 and 7-6 and and in the Horizon League and hit the road to take on Wright State and Detroit this week. Men's tennis split a couple of road tilts at Xavier and at number 12 Kentucky over the weekend. The Vikings defeated the Musketeers 5-2, and freshman Matt Kelker earned his first career match-clinching victory. Cleveland State won five of six singles matches and stretched their winning streak to four. That streak would come to an end at Kentucky, though, in a 6-1 loss. The contest was close as three matches were decided in three sets. The women's tennis team routed Dayton at home 6-1 over the weekend. Katrine Bajerus, Alex Power, Alex Bush, and Nicole Janik won in straight sets, and Maria Lazaris tacked on a singles win for the Vikes. The women traveled to Michigan State Saturday and Indiana on Sunday. The softball team opened its season in Texas at the Best Western Marina Grand Invitational last week, winning two of five games. Cleveland State opened the tournament with a 3-1 victory over Texas Arlington in a game dominated by Tess Cito, who pitched a complete game, striking out 11 and not allowing an earned run. CSU bounced back from a loss to Loyola with a win over Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It was Cito who dominated again with a complete game shutout and an RBI triple and a 3-0 victory. The Vikings head to Tennessee this weekend to compete in the Austin P Spring Classic against Ball State, Austin P, UMKC, and Belmont. Wrestling dropped both of their EWL dual meets over the weekend and losing at Pittsburgh 41-3 and at home to Clarion 30-10. Robbie Michaels was the lone senior honored at Woodling Gym for the senior night festivities Saturday. Cleveland State wraps up its regular season Saturday at West Virginia in a dual meet with the Mountaineers. Men's golf was in action in Tampa at the match play and defeated DePaul while dropping bounce with UConn, South Florida, and Charleston Southern. Drew Davidson excelled with a 3-1 match play record. Cleveland State competes next at the Don Benbow Classic in Jacksonville March 14th and 15th. And the baseball team opens up its 2011 campaign on the road for a three-game series at Longwood this weekend. This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for February 15th. And for more Cleveland State news and highlights, visit CSUVikings.com.